सो ये सिंस इट्स वीकेंड एंड इन टूडेज ब्लॉग आई बी मेकिंग अफगानी चिकन अफगानी चिकन इज अ नाइस क्रीमी चिकन विच यू कैन हैव इट विद पुलाव राइस और यू कैन हैव इट विद चपाती सो वील बी हैविंग इट विद खबूज इट्स अ मिडल ईस्ट इन ब्रेड वील बी हैविंग हमस अलॉन्ग विद दैट एंड वी आर आई एम ऑल्सो गोइंग टू बी मेकिंग खीमा कबाब ओके अ नाइस जूसी कीमा कबाब आई हैव ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड अ रेसिपी फॉर दैट ऑन माय चैनल आई विल लीव अ लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन और ऑन द कार्ड समवेयर सो नाउ इट्स एज आई सेड इट्स 9:30 थर्टी एम इट्स अ सनी सैटरडे मॉर्निंग आई एम गोइंग टू द सुपर मार्केट टू गेट ऑल द इनग्रीडियंट्स एंड जस्ट सो दैट आई डोंट फॉर द इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग्स आई हैव डॉक्यूमेंटेड एवरीथिंग ऑन माय नोशन and uh, yes uh, i don't want to waste time in the mall and that's what i regularly do i mention everything in my notion i document it and i get only those things so i save my time and i don't have to think about what i have to get so let's get started <laughs> salad done 10 dirham yeah so finally after half an hour i got done with my shopping even though i planned so well if you don't plan and come you will end up spending around minimum 1 hour in the mall so now i'm going home So I'm back home now. I've bought everything that was mentioned in the list. So I stuck to my plan, and uh, so the only thing that I bought extra is this uh, cooked meat. I don't know. After looking at these ingredients, Marina might change the plan. So uh, chicken Afghani and kebab is final, or you want to eat pizza? No, I'm looking at the meat and all, and I'm feeling like kebab. Yeah, let's go for kebab. So if you all don't know I've already uploaded a video of this uh, recipe okay so you can go and check it out I I assume that curd was there in the house I'll just bring curd from the supermarket hmm as a mean time you can uh, make the masala like just keep the masala ready okay chalega chalega theek hai cool stand yeah coriander uh, you want me to take the old bunch or this bunch only No, no, this one. Only. This one only. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Just clean this. I need uh, one cup of coriander one cup. and around ten to fifteen mint leaves. Okay. And four garlic cloves. Hmm. One inch ginger and around four green chilies. चलेगा. ठीक है. Just keep that ready. I'll come. Cool scenes. Look at the coriander leaves. They're so fresh. So beautiful. I just love coriander. Ayo, ma. Sorry, mint leaves. I just love mint leaves. I love mint leaves like anything. Like even if uh, I'm tired and I've come back from work and I'm like tired, and uh, Stanley makes this lemon uh, soda for me, and that he'll put few mint leaves. Oh God, it just adds magic to your drink. Back. Yeah, I've ordered. Very good. Very good. Let's continue with this only for dinner now. We won't have uh, pizza today. Yeah. yeah. Look at the fancy yogurt dabbas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now uh, the chicken is ready. Okay, to be marinated. Now I'll start uh, seasoning it. So now for the seasoning, I'll season it with uh, some salt and one teaspoon of ginger garlic paste. Okay, just added one teaspoon here for the seasoning because in the masala also I'll be adding in ginger and garlic. So this would be roughly around 700 grams of chicken. Now these are mostly chicken thigh piece. Now the reason why I use uh, the thigh piece because obviously the thigh piece is very juicy. Any creamy type of chicken, if you eat, or basically any fried chicken or anything, if you use the thigh piece, trust me, it's really juicy. and you get a nice feel of eating the chicken while you just have chicken in your plate along with 
some rotis or kabus so now i'm just preparing the masala you need any garam masala no garam masala i won't need ah you need an onion no yeah okay so the masala is ready to be uh, ground okay now i forgot something i need to add cashew in this so i'll be adding in so i have little cashew so you can add in cashew around 10 to 15 now when marina had made last time she had made with cashew and almonds okay now since i'm falling in short of cashew i will add in almonds as well but you can use either of it you can either use cashew or almonds so this will add to the richness of the uh, thick gravy okay that we'll be preparing i'll just add in this chili now i've reduced the garlic now i've added around four garlic cloves one in ginger that is because i have marinated this chicken with ginger garlic paste so now we will grind this Okay, so the masala is ground into a nice smooth paste. Mmm, tasty. Is it spicy? No, it's not spicy. I told you the chili, uh, it's a local grown chili from the UAE, which I bought, which is less spicy. Even if it looks dark, it's not that spicy. Now you can add the chilies according to your taste. If you want it spicy, you can do that. Okay, so here I'm adding around one cup of curd. Okay, a thick yogurt. Now, along with that, I'll be adding in fresh cream. I just love the taste of the cream. Mm. Now, don't start eating the cream, otherwise, I won't be any cream popcorn. <laughs> I just love cream. Okay, now I'll just mix this. Need the whisk? No. Okay, now in this goes in our masala. Okay, now in goes the chicken. I'll just poke the chicken. Okay, so the marination seeps in. This looks amazing. Okay, now we can just dirty your hands. Can you look at this thick consistency? Now, one important thing that I forgot is while marinating the chicken with ginger garlic paste and salt, you need to add in uh, fresh lime juice also, or lemon juice. So just squeeze in a lime and add it. Okay, so now we are ready to cook. So Marina, what I'll do is I'll uh, make the kebabs. Mm. Okay, you make the afghani. Chalega. Okay, so for the afghani, first you need to fry the chicken. Okay, and uh, I oh, will. Oh, Yeah. Okay, so here you can see the chicken is fried. Okay, so we just need to make it brown. We don't have to cook it. The kebabs are... Eh? Eh, hey, Bukkad, what are you eating this kebab? <laughs> the kebabs are not ready yet and she's eating here. I had fried six. Eh, hey, what do you think? I had four eaten. Come on, you will eat three, right? No. So I'll just give a smoke to this chicken before we start uh, cooking the final process. Okay, so almost our uh, lunch is ready and her lunch is done. No. You better don't eat this, huh? So you make fast I'm very hungry. Hungry or you're always hungry? Okay, some generous amount of butter. little oil 
okay so now in this i'll be adding the garam masala so this is four to five cloves seven to eight peppercorns one inch cinnamon stick and uh, elaichi that is green cardamom okay just to flavorize this oil okay and now goes in the marination which we had prepared my daughter is saying she's getting the smell i think she's getting the smell of the kebabs yeah but she doesn't know we started eating yeah. <laughs> already without her <laughs> what kind of a parent you are marina hello you also eat it So now we'll give a coal ka smoke to the chicken. Okay, so let's do that. right so the smoke is given to the chicken ah uh, it's smelling delicious and now it goes in i don't want to waste any flavor apparently all that burnt and all that only has most flavor yeah Okay, and here goes in the last ingredient that is kasuri methi. Okay, let's mix it well. So I have uh, checked for salt and I have adjusted the salt accordingly. Okay so now we will let this uh, cook for around 5 to 10 minutes more okay so we'll just adjust the flame from medium to low because the uh, the marination is very thick and we don't want it to stick at the bottom okay now let it cook nicely let the chicken infuse all the flavor of the masala the kasuri methi also it will give its flavor to the whole dish okay the final product will be amazing it's already smelling very delicious it's already looking very rich because of the uh, cashew and the almonds that we added okay it's looking delicious so we'll just wait for another 5 to 10 minutes and our chicken afghani is done So our Saturday meal is ready. Here's the chicken afghani. Here's the hummus. Here's the kebab. Unfortunately, Marina ate three inside the kitchen while I was cooking. And this is the kabus. Okay. So, would you like to start? Yep. Take. Thank you. I would like to go for the kebab first. As if you didn't eat any while they were getting fried. Look at this. Look at this nice juicy kebab. I want to try this. And with the hummus. Mm. Dude, this is so good. Hmm. Must it? I'm just loving the kebab. The Afghani chicken is there. Very, very nice. Very nice. Do you come fast, fast? So try this very simple, very rich chicken Afghani at home. The kebab recipe is already on my channel. Do check that out. It's very juicy. So if you want to have a nice meal, okay, uh, just make this kebab and this chicken Afghani or chicken Afghani and rotis. It will taste amazing. 
okay and um, do let me know in the comments below how many of y'all want to know the recipe of this hummus if anyone is interested in knowing how to make the hummus so do let me know in the comments below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please consider subscribing and like this video share this video with your friends and family enjoy your weekend i will see you next time bye 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 Mmm.